Hi guys, I'm Zerfall, and it's time for us to mess with this weather rom here outside of the Tassie Bar. Um, if we go to our items here, we should have... Hmm. Oh, maybe we have to just talk to him. Maybe it's not a an item in the way that... Oh, man. I'm telling you, he's freaking... He's freaking mind-controlled by the ad sometimes. I don't like that. All right, let's just try talking to this thing. Hmm. This ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more... Festive. Christmas is my favorite season, after all. Should I switch it to snow mode? Yeah, turn this baby on. Dot, dot, dot. Poof. It's snowing. Okay, people. I, for one, did not bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. It looks like that did it, Zerfall. I'll deactivate snow more now so we can warm up. Yes. <laughs> Excellent work, Zerfall. While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using a subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I don't I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical Quandary out. Is there a fall? Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. Those could be our suspects who are creating mischief under the guise of social change. Hmm. Couldn't hurt to check it out. Right, we should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. They may even point us to the true culprits. Oh no, they've noticed our attentions. Come along, Zerfall. Maybe we can catch them. Oh, good thing we're good at... Uh... Oh man, they went into a cab. What the... We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on, I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. I know it seems like a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. The wicked flee where no man pursueth. Arg, the auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. We'll never be able to engage in a pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Maybe they can do something. Some bit of techno wizardry to stop that cab. Good idea, ring him up. Excellent! Hold on while I connect this. Howdy, folks! Well, what's the search for the data cache going? Actually, that's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the people who took it, but they eluded us and are making their escape in an auto cab. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but traffic is congested and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? No can do, little guy. The security on those cabs is tighter than Fort Knox, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. But I have an idea. Sit tight just for a sec. Oh, she's probably going to track it instead. Oh, that's some sweet taping. Yeah, yeah. All right. That went faster than a spit than spit on a skillet. I did a job a few years back, and I had to break into the city's central traffic network for reasons that are best left up to speculation. Those fools left the black door I put in wide open, and I logged into the traffic management system now. Wait. Oh shit. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter intrusion VI. Oh, the damn thing's hot on my tail. The VI is probably a virtual intelligence. Uh. Hmm. What's a VI? Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative or inventive. Not really sapient. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers if you're willing to pay for a good one. I'm going to need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turing, I'm passing control over to you. 
You should be able to use your map app to keep track of them and redirect their cab back to you. Just trigger their crab control nodes, cab control nodes, to adjust the routes they can take. Oh, I hope this is a mini game. You should be able to trick their cab's GPS system into thinking the shortest route is right back past you. You just gotta stop them at the light there. Bye, y'all. I'll put a marker on the map for you. If you stop and trap them anywhere else, they'll just get out of the auto cab and run away. So be careful. Hold tight. I'm gonna do some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. Just hurry, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep this VI from messing on the carpet. Once I kill the connection, this little trick is over. I'm dead certain it'll find the back door after this. Just push the map. Just push on the map. I'm loading up on Turing's face. Sorry, Turing. <laughs> Alright, oh man, so how do I do this? They're on the move. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our target priority is ensure they can't leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. We only have the ability to block off two routes at a time before the AutoCab's VI will make a decision to move. We should block. Should we shouldn't block the route back here? What do you think our next move should be, Zerfo? Don't let them go east. I think. Well. I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now, Zerf. Don't let those punks escape and don't trap them anywhere until you bring them back here. Got it? We can access any of the control nodes in the area. Think ahead and we should be able to get them back here without delay. So it looks to me like we should be able to just send them... Ooh, but that other one has like a triple. Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I think that's all I really want to do. I don't, well. Well, that's the only one I really wanted to do, but. Shoot! <laughs> that was dumb of me. I should have blocked that other one, too. I was like, oh, they'll just go straight. They're getting away! Don't panic just yet. I managed to tell the cab to, to, to head back over to your grid. Definitely a one-shot tr trick, though. Those VIs are all over the path I used. Alright, let's try this again. Don't let them escape. Well, I don't want to block anything else. They're done. This one blocked that one. I'm done. Keep them going. Okay, so here what we'll do is this and this. And they're going to come back to us. There we go. Now we blocked everything. They're stuck. We got them now, Zerfall. Let's go. If I stand in front of the auto cab, its anti collision system will keep it from moving. And then we can interrogate the mystery inch. I'm gonna stop them! Oh, close call. Oh, actually, I recognize one of these guys from the, uh... How would you call it? The cards you can get from the game. This is an angry punk. What the hell do you want? Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us. And if you won't get out of my way, I'll mess you up! Hey, Zerfall, what do you think we should do? We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially make this go over smoothly. Or we could share news of this encounter with your friend in the law enforcement before things get out of hand. These two seem to aid digit already. It may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? Oh, man. Ugh. Oh. Let's grill them and see what they know. Ah, we're a negotiator. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Uh, 
Maybe we should just answer their questions. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong. Right? Er. Right, we ain't got nothing to hide. What's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. These are our tools of the trade. These are above... All above board and legal. We just got done making a piece of... A piece for a client. Right? Right. We're artists. Well, what's in the bag? You a cop? Because if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag. Why'd you run? Running? Who was I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think so. That's what they were insinuating. Er, right. We just got places to go. We gotta get there fast. You're holding us up. This is ridiculous. Enough. Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blusterous words and feigned ignorance. I've matched the hues of those paints to the pattern at the bottom of your shoes, with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Now you're accusing us of stealing? I can't believe this. Oh, now we're learning their names. Chad, I think they've caught us. Maybe we should just answer their questions so they don't go to the cops. Damn it, Oliver! I told you, I'm star fucker now. Hey! I just went along with this because you said we would go into that, to that movie afterwards. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because your dad... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> don't bring my dad into this. Fine, whatever. We'll answer your freaking questions. Why'd you take his apartment? Aw, oh, man, no big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? We heard a rumor his place was going to be empty. Who's going to pass up a sweet target like that? We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy rom there. Do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? Uh, kidnapped? He's been kidnapped? Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. Why'd you take the data cache? I told you we didn't steal nothing. Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. Here, you can have it. Hey, we got the data cache. <laughs> we just took it to pawn it. Data caches like that are worth a lot, right? Way denser storage capacity than a regular hard drive. Don't even care about it anymore. Okay, thanks for giving us the data cache back. We'll make sure it gets to the right place. Hmm. They're not good kids. Maybe you should give up vandalizing places. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. We hope you find that Hayden guy. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. All right, let's go watch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Sure, whatever you want. I feel better now, Chad. I won't forget that. Oh, shoot. He's going mad. Uh, that's not right. I'm sure I just activated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Hey, folks. Jess just called me and told me she's got a way to act to the access node. I need to slice into it to clear for you. Did you get the data cache? Yes. Those punks happen to have it. Great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to the Stardust and drop it off with Madge for me, okay? He'll hold on... He'll hold it to pass on to me when I once I get there. I've managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security. They're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need y'all to be I need y'all in place at that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we go to Stardust. We can worry about the weather realms malfunction later. Let's go as fall. Our mission for just is done. All right, this is uh, I'm going to throw a save down, actually. Because I want to kind of... LP8? Oh, that was wrong. Oh, no, it wasn't. Nice. Oh, the cab's still there. Okay, there's two cabs there. 
Because I kind of want to go in here anyways. Or examine there, because we just messed up her ROM, right? Don't bug it, it already seems to be in a stormy mood. Is... Is Turing insulting another ROM? That's not. Two's company, three's a crowd. Festive wreath. Okay, let's get in here. Hey! I told you, Jerks, not to break my ROM. Now I can't get it to stop snowing. Those protesters are gone, but I'm still not having it gonna have any customers with it freezing like this. Aw, oh, shoot. This hot hazy is the perfect thing to warm me up. Snow out of nowhere. I guess I'll wait it out in here. Whoa, look at it out there. So magical. Uh, don't think I've forgiven you, you dingus. Oh, I like that she says dingus. I better go get some hassy hot cups going. Well, all well, all's well that ends well, right, sir? I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector on the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solutions to the Hassie bar owner. I'm sure she'll be able to get it turned off after the customer rush. There, so we actually helped her out. Oh, and look at all these people over here. There's Dana. Dana Zane. Those Hassie hot cups are disgusting. I'll just have to see the wrestlers. I can't wait for the New Year's show. All they have here is energy drink. Where's the booze at? What kind of bar is this? It's a hassy bar. But I... Yeah, okay. What the heck is hassy anyway? I have such a massive craving for something else right now. One Adelheid, one Bronson, two Delta, three Flanderglide, and five... Carmor Carmotrine. Mixed, without ice, and no aging. Ah, nothing beats it. Alright. We're in a loop with her. I know we're not supposed to be talking to these people, but let's go ahead and waste some time. Hey again. I think that's everything. Okay, enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. She, she pretty much has forgiven us. Who's this? The wrestler. Let's look at the wrestler. Defined young wrestler is enjoying a fresh hassy hot cup. This person has uh, got a picture, so... A light-haired teenager with a bionic arm. She seems to be staring at the nearby, nearby wrestlers as she waits to order. Howdy! You can call me Cactus Canary! One day I'll conquer everyone else in the Neo San Francisco Wrestling Federation and become the Neo San Francisco Wrestling he World Heavyweight Champion! Er... Champion. Oh, I must have. Until then, I'm a violent wing for life. And a Hassy Hot Cup fan for life, too. Our aerodynamic assault will rain down on, on you from the heavens, heavenly skies. But first, a Hassy Hot Cup. Alright, that's... Same stuff. Who's this back here? Another customer. Ah, oh, this is the other wrestler. Let's check them out. This wrestler is a powerhouse in the Neo San Francisco Wrestling Federation. New hot, a hot new stable, the Violent Wings. According to the Mesh, they're a group of highly ranked wrestlers who form up some sort of battalion. Hey there, I go by Night Witch. You should come to our New Year's show. Neo San Francisco Wrestler New Year's Smash. It looks like it's not safe for work New Year's Smash. There's nothing better than seeing one of our patented bombs away finishers in person, except maybe a Hassy Hot Cup. We're gonna win back those <laughs> NSFW Neverweight Five Person Cinco titles from the Future Foundry. Thanks for being a fan of the Violent Wings. We're just some badass ladies who bomb hellfire on anyone. My name has some pretty cool history behind it. You should look it up while you enjoy a Hassy Hot Cup. They're really pushing these Hassies. Alright, you're done. On to this guy. Or lady. I sure do like a sa Sassy Hassy. Hassy Hot is also great. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely go get a Hassy Hot Chocolate. 
To me, Hussy represents an easy escape from the flavorless of life. Flavorlessness of life. To be honest, Hussy has completely changed my life. I come here every day. Do you think it's weird how much I like Hussy? How much do you like Hussy? It's always the best, right? I wonder if there's something wrong with me. Maybe a winter fresh Hussy will help me figure this out. Don't judge me. Okay. What's it on? What's on their table here? It's a coffee table. Great for good for playing games and reading feeds while sipping a hassy. You touch the surface of the table, and your own interface window appears. You can play games or watch feeds. Okay. There's this lady here, and there's this guy. A skinny hybrid with green skin and pointy ears. I usually hang out at the Stardust, but they don't serve food, so I come here for Hassy Hot Cups during the day. The Hassy bar owner has cybernetics. Those that don't usually get along with hybrids better. Oh, those that do usually don't get along with hybrids better. I usually hang out at the Stardust, etc, etc. Film assistant. If I was actually in charge of content, I would make sure we did a big story on these new Hassy Hot Cups. Delish! What am I saying? TMI does stories on Hassy nearly every day. Ha <laughs> ha! Sometimes I think our news realms love Hassy more than I do. All right. Let's just have a Hassy hot cup before we go. Hmm, maybe Hassy hot. Delicious. All right, we have to leave by the menu because that's just a window. All right, let's go ahead, hit up our map. And we've got to go to the Stardust. Welcome to Stardust. There's Madge. We should leave the data cache with him first, like, Rama, uh, like Tomcat asked. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? Tomcat asked me to drop this off with you. Yes. Oh, right. Tomcast asked me to take that off your hands. I'll pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. Data cache removed. Oh, we never even checked it out. I won't pester you about what it is. I know things are always very hush-hush with Tomcat. I'll make sure they get it later than today. Thank you very much, Madge. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? That's all for now. Enjoy yourself. Come back and hang out with us anytime. All right, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, do you know what? We gotta check who's in the bar. Uh, just this guy. Is it still? Ah, oh, it's still that nighttime. All right, let's just go to leave. Skip our way out the door. Map it up, and it is time to go to. Where's it? Oh, shoot! Oh, I gotta find Jess in here. Jeez, I forgot we were meeting up with her. Welcome, to Stardust. Ah, uh, we got time for this. We really should stay focused on our goals, but I suppose I shouldn't rain on every parade. Go have fun! With Tony's blessing, you head back out onto the dance floor and bust out some fresh steps. That's enough for now, maybe. It certainly is. You again? I'll let you in, but you better stay out of trouble. I can't remember exactly the voice I gave them. Oh, hey, this guy's back here already. They could just stand to serve some food, though. I guess they didn't really think that we might see him at that other place. What do you got to say? I kind of feel like dancing now. Want to join me? I kind of do. No, they asked us to dance! Jeez, Turing! Maybe one day you'll make it up to them. Probably not, though. Uh, we can't let's dancing either. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that those protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? All right, then. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. I called up my buddy who's on night shift tonight for Parallax, watching over an access node in Deep Mission. Tom Spool <laughs> said that you've got access to the to an old access node. Wait. <clears throat> Squirrel said that if you got access to an old access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. My buddy can buzz you in, but if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think I'm drawing any more de debits for a while. Go on! Get out of here. Go on! Get out of here. Go on! Get out of here! Things haven't gone too smoothly with her so far. 
Do I have something I can short? Check this out. One step closer and I'll have magic kick you out. What about this? What kind of name is Zerfal? Fair enough. Oh, I really shouldn't show her that. Hmm. Maybe once I've done a playthrough of just playing this game the way I would normally play it, I should do a playthrough of <laughs> just being the biggest jerk ever. All right, we got a new zone to head to. And that is a really fun funky looking thing. This is the place Tom Shot said we could head, should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest. I don't think we should be in a section of city without just giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let's get done with our errand and move on to the safer ground. Don't be worried about getting mud. Let's hope she sticks her after the bargain. Good to see yourself pertaining to working overtime. <laughs> I'm no coward, Zerfall. I resent the accusation. After all, I didn't see you arguing against doing that favor for Jess in the first place. But I don't feel like debating the merits of being prudent with you. Tomcat is waiting for us. Maybe we can wrap this whole investigation up once and for all. Uh, that really peeved him off. So what do we got here? We got some graffiti. Access to the node. Apartment door. Let's check this out. Standard plastic blade glyph level litter. Even if you want to pick that up, it's crusted onto the ground. Gives a new meaning to trash talk. Oh, some sad finds. Vibes are being thrown around. Hmm. It wouldn't be a bad idea to throw it out, but this plastic bag isn't quite a dumpster. You can't pull it off the generator, no matter how hard you try. Pipes doing what pi oh, good pipes do. It's piping out that energy. I don't think that's how energy normally works. Got to keep the generator cooler, or you know, it'll break. Beautiful turbo generators just here, generating energy. You wonder what all that... What's using all this extra power? Oh, don't pour milk. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is going to be interesting. Anyways. Jeez, we've got a couple minutes left. Let's just check out the rest of this zone. The wall is pretty gummy. Stop touching it. I kind of feel bad for telling Turing off. I was trying to be more funny than anything else. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking at graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I never had much consideration for any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shouting of identity and existence. They exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with, but it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos that really interest me. Petty vandalism is still beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles in the mid 2030s legalized putting up mural style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now that place is truly remarkable. Perhaps I will visit it once this is all done with. That graffiti is actually a symbol of gonzo journalism? Ooh, I'm very interested. Yeah, sure. No, that's mean. Ah, I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with uh, gonzo journalism yourself? Gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during the direct or direct participation? If you end up writing on this experience, whatever you do, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now. You're a key subject in the event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point. And you're in the clear as you didn't investigate the, instigate the situation. Hmm. I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light, perhaps only because I can verify your personal experience as a fact. Sorry, I'm rambling in our time. And we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What do we do? My nerves are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken toll on me. But never mind. Let's find that access node. Let's find Hayden. All right. So we will do so next time on Let's Play Read Only Memories. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next video.